When I went to Jamaica, I expected Rasta, Reggae, and Ganja. But when I got there, I was met with Rasta, Reggae, and Ganja. And it was because I filmed these things, specifically the Ganja part, that almost all my videos got demonetized, and that's why I'm making this video. Sorry, my voice is completely shot today. However, I would discover the charm of the island goes a lot further than these things. Unfortunately, a lot of people who come to this country, they stay in private resorts, and they don't actually experience real island life while they're staying in places where people only see you as a walking ATM. But the people I would meet traveling in the local side of Jamaica, they're honestly some of the most interesting and nice people. I wanted to make this video recapping my first trip of Jamaica, showing all the ways this great country shocked me. And if you like it, let me know because I'll make a similar video from my second trip as well. Let's start with how I actually ended up in Jamaica and this is 100% real, no BS. You know, lately on this here internet, I've seen a lot of influencers. What they do, right, is they throw an object at a map and they go wherever that object lands. So, I figured, if you can't beat them, join them. Let's go see where we're going. Ah, look at that. I landed right in the middle of the Caribbean. Right in, oh baby, Jamaica. Out of all this water and all these remote areas, I landed somewhere that's very convenient for me to travel. What a coincidence. You guys ready? Let's go. There's so many people picking people up for arrivals, whereas departures, like people get out and they're gone. And from now on, if you're picking somebody up at the airport, go to the departures. You're more likely to get a spot. That's a life hack. Love you. Love you. Bye. All right, here we go again. In Toronto, we literally have balling up rules. If the spliff is Aita, don't even pass it to me. So when I arrived in Jamaica, the first thing I noticed was there's just such a lack of infrastructure. This is honestly my own ignorance. I know how it is now, but I just thought where I was staying looked so ghetto. But that's just how it is in Jamaica. Houses aren't completely finished. The roads suck. But that don't mean you're in the hood and everyone is honestly super nice. I stayed outside of Kingston in a community called Bull Bay. I was working at the time, so it was just a nice place I could set up an office and do work. And there was also a skate park nearby that you'll see in this video. Wagwan fam, and welcome to Jamaica. Here at my Airbnb in Bull Bay. Let's go for a tour of Bull Bay. I was going to start this video yesterday but i had quite a hold up at the airport basically what happens is that if you show up here to jamaica make sure you have an exiting flight not only did i not have one i went and i purchased one they held me up they secured me I... hey bro i don't need no taxi i'm just making a video yo we're neighbors what's your name ricky nolan good to meet you that was Ricky. I got an exiting flight and they said that's not good enough. My exiting flight was to Miami. They said I needed an exiting flight back to my own country. What if someone from Europe comes here and they plan on going to a bunch of like different countries around the Caribbean? If they're going to a bunch of different countries around the Caribbean, like don't expect them to fly back to Europe. To me that makes zero sense, but I, I just obliged. I wasn't going to put up any argument. Obliged. The situation is solved, guys. Don't worry about it. Well, look at this. My rail is getting up today. I'm very ex excited to go explore my neighborhood for the next little while. Ball Bay, right here on Wikiwaki Beach. The literal name of it is Wikiwaki Beach. Many? Huh? You catch many? No, not, not today. I'm not today? Talking, but sometimes. But sometimes, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, See, the problem with the area I'm in, Bull Bay, is like, there's literally nothing here. There's very few shops, very few places to get supplies, so it makes it kind of hard to make very interesting video content, but I'm going to try my best today. Here I'm going into a place, this is called Skate Gully. This used to be the spot. It was like uh, the skaters came together and they made their own skate park in here. 
And then um, just a couple of years back, maybe a year or two ago, they actually got a nice skate park made for them. But the reason why this seems like hasn't been kept up in a while is because they have a beautiful, gorgeous skate park in this neighborhood. And I think it's a big facet to the neighborhood. Uh, it keeps the kids occupied. So they were saying like, oh yeah, you walk around this neighborhood with a, a skateboard, like if people won't fuck with you, they'll respect you, you know? There's this house over here, this family yesterday. They sold me some juice. The girls were wearing one Tim Horton shirt and a Canada shirt. And I thought it was so funny. So I told them I'd come by, give them some uh, Canadian money. If they're here, buy some more juice too. Hello again. Hey. Hi. <laughs> ah, it's me again. Are you going to the skate in the Oh, no, no. I just came by for some juice. You could open the gate. Open the gate and come in. Okay. How are you? All right. Good. Of course, I had to come by for the juice. Yeah. I liked it so much. So you found it yesterday, good? Yeah, it was a good time. Oh, good time. Yeah. Okay. What juice you got yesterday? The one in the bottle? You know what? You can just surprise me. <laughs> Whichever one you think is best. Okay. Only girls in this house, huh? <laughs> Mostly girls. Mostly girls. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The one boy must be driven crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's under print. Thank you. It's a red one today, yeah. huh? Okay. Yeah. You know how you were wearing the Canadian shirts yesterday? Look, here's some Canadian money. Thank you. Look, it has a, that has a loon on it. Well, there's Lizzie, the queen. Yeah. And there, that one's a loon. This one has a, uh, a moose what on it. Headed? A moose, like I was saying yesterday. I don't have the one with the beaver. You know how you're saying beaver is the national animal? Yeah. I don't. I don't got the. I don't got the beaver. But there's that. I know there's a restaurant in Canada that sells animal like burgers with beef. With moose? Yeah. They sell moose burgers? Yeah. I've never tried a moose. We're friendly in Ontario. You have a friend in Ontario? Yeah. In yeah. Toronto? Yeah. There's so many Jamaican people. They live in Toronto. Okay. And everyone in Toronto, they use like Jamaican slang. Today I was looking to find some seafood. Oh, seafood. You know, is there any spots along the beach or something? Uh, not, not right now. No. Not, not in Bull Bay. Not in Bull Bay? Wow. There's a city in Canada near Regina. <laughs> Regi There's no... Is that real? No, real? Regina's real. Oh! But that is the middle of Canada and all there is there is just fields and farms. There's nothing else there besides that. They say there you can watch your dog run away for three days straight. They know us about Canada. Guess you have to visit Canada. Why do you know so much about Canada? And uh, there's, there's a cartoon that they forget about it that I really like. See, I'm gonna pay you. Thank you. Thank you for the juice. Two hundred. Wow. Is that? No man, it's too much. What's that? That's too much money. How much they cost? Two hundred. Two one hundred. Did I not give it right? No. Oh, I gave you a thousand. Yeah. Thanks for your honesty. <laughs> you know, you could have just been like, oh, good. <laughs> These kind Jamaican people. <laughs> That's too much. Too much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nolan. Nolan. Yes. So you look like you just out of college. You look so young, though. How old are you? How young do you think I am? You're 24. Oh, sign. I look so much. How old? How old do you think? About 19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored. I'm I'm 26 though. Oh, I'm 26. Yeah, but I, I just got a baby face. Oh. <laughs> mm. My job, I work in social media, so my job is online. Oh. So okay. I can, I'm working from here. I work today. Okay. Oh, yeah. As long as where I'm staying has good Wi-Fi, I can work. Vlog. Yeah, I'm making a video. It's a YouTube channel. Do you want to look it up? It's called Seal on Tour. We also have a YouTube channel. Oh, let me see it. The Hosung Twins. Sonny, one good can of Wignolans. We go to different countries. Yeah, a lot of my videos from Mexico, but I've been to like Colombia, Peru. You know BTS? I know of them, yes, but I don't know them personally. Why, do you like them? Yeah, I'm an ARMY. BTS ARMY? Yeah. Do you do BTS videos? I make edits. I have a YouTube channel with them with 18.8k subscribers. No! You have 18,000 subscribers? Yeah. You got more than me, huh? <laughs> oh, you love BTS, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're all BTS videos. How old are you two? 
Friday. 15 <laughs> Friday? Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, I will make Christmas. Yeah? Oh, those are cool. We got the lizards on there, keys on there. And we have a um an online store too. Awesome customer. No way. Young entrepreneurs. Young hustlers. Look at that. Whenever I was 14, I had a paper route. Thanks, guys. <laughs> have a good day. Bye. Bye. Good to see you again. My side quest today is I need to find my way to the grocery store by bus so I can get provisions and also get a SIM card. I gotta catch the bus though. But you are sure precious. He's following me. Kitty, I gotta catch the bus. I'm not your mom. What I didn't realize staying out in the sticks that it was so hard to get around. Even in Kingston, there's such little public transportation. Most people just use these shared taxis, which to be honest, are pretty cheap. And in Kingston, you can get Uber, but Uber would not come all the way out to Bull Bay. Buses barely went by. And now and again, you'd find these shared cabs. I was honestly pretty lucky and it did not take that long for one to roll up, but you need to have patience here. It is not a country that's easy to get around in. This is where you catch the bus. How much does it usually cost? Hey, Jay, you will teach me, is that on Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm just going, what do you call the area with the, the roundabout, with the grocery store? Um, yeah, that's where I'm going. Okay. Right. This one, uh, oh. another one. He's going to Harborview. But he's a taxi. 150 in the taxi. Oh, Harbor View, right? Uh, 150? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come with you, bro. That's a good price. Oh. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. How you doing, boss? I'm good. You? I'm excellent. What's your name? Javil. Javil? Yeah. Nolan. Good to meet you, bro. Same to you. You live in Bull Bay? Yep. Nice, bro. I say I got my cameras. What's that? Oh, there's someone else here. But here in Bolvay, there's nowhere to get like groceries or anything. Gotta go all the way to Harborview. Guys, I'm on the supermarket. Yeah, exactly. Is there somewhere there I could get a SIM card? Mm, SIM card, SIM card. Like for your phone. I think them supposed to have a place over Harborview. If not, you have to go, you have to go downtown. To to Kingston. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, maybe I do that another day. Yeah, let you cross the road, mama. Yeah, no man, no man. No, at the pan side. Goodbye. <laughs> See, this is like the only place here to get like food and stuff, but yeah, but still, they really have nothing yeah. again. They have like snacks and whatnot. Yeah, there's some baby that live down the place them, so yeah. you know, them are. So how long have you been here? This is only my second day. Okay. First full day. I got in yesterday. From? From Canada. Okay. And what about you? Are you from Bull Bay or another part of uh, oh, Jamaica? I live, I live down here, so I live a short as here. Short distance from here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We travel a lot still. You travel a lot. Yeah, like around to America. Oh, what part? Uh, I'm in Bronx, New York. New York. Yeah. Oh, nice man. New York City or New York, uh, New York State? City. Oh, beautiful place, man. Man, it's so different from here, though. Here yeah. it's laid back, <laughs> you know, like there it's such a crazy, hectic vibe. Why did you go to New York? Spend some time with my family. Mm, your family in the States? Yeah, I have my auntie, my uncle, my cousin, my sister. Oh, okay. Why is it they live in the United States and you live here? Me born and grew here. Them born here and then them go foreign. They live for the rest of them life. You didn't want to go with them? No. This is a spot for you? Huh? This is the place for you? No, I'm not asking you. So <laughs> Jamaica, Jamaica, I like foreign. <laughs> Respect. I Jamaica nice still if you got you got a fire next someone come back to Jamaica enjoy yourself and thing and then <laughs> you smoke? Weed? Yeah. yeah I smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. Why? You got some weed? Not right now. <laughs> Look oh. more. Look some weed from the weed man. So I <laughs> Who's the weed man? I'm one from down a rock foot side. 
Ela é aba, viu? Aba, viu? Thank you, sir. They've changed 500. Mm, no. Oh, you don't have any. Do you want me to go get change real quick? Yeah, I'm going to the supermarket. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's that gentleman. This guy. Yeah, yeah, I will. You know what? If you just wait, I can give you 500. That's fine? Okay, I'll try not to be long, all right? Sounds good. I did not expect coming to Jamaica that groceries would be so expensive. I guess I watched like a bunch of videos from people going to the markets and the stuff they were buying was actually decently cheap. But I mean, that's the locally grown fresh stuff while the grocery store is mostly imported things. You're on an island in the middle of the Caribbean. Let's lube up these vocalizers, goddamn. I found other things to be decently priced, like getting around, like this shared cab I think was like 150, which is like a buck to get into town. And even that Airbnb I was staying at was like 30 bucks a night. I found other hotel rooms, hostel rooms that were like 30 bucks a night. So it's cheaper than US prices for things like that. But as far as groceries go, do not expect cheap prices. It's like double Western prices in Jamaica. I gotta say, prices here are a little more expensive than I was planning. Four eight. Like that's that's quite a bit for a loaf. It's a nice loaf. Uh, I'll take it. That's crazy. The two apples, four hundred. Look at this, four eighty for six strawberries. I'm just gonna stick to my junk food for today. I've got bread, tuna, and mayo and strawberry jam as well thinking about it now i paid like 500 for that ride in and out of town it would have just been 300 if i just grabbed another cab for both ways literally like the cereal i got costed more than that and that wasn't even brand name it was like a rickboff of frosted flakes some dollar store frosted flakes so i was unprepared honestly but honestly, you can't be disappointed about overpriced dollar store cereal when this is your home for the next however long you want. Beautiful. This kid noticed my skateboard. He's like, I'm gonna go skate. Bogwan, you coming to skate? Yes. Or just, oh, you get the skateboard there, right? Yeah. Nice, bro. Oh no. Oh, I got my shoes so. Oh no. These guys just caught some fish. Hey, man. I just wanted to see your cat. Good catch. Yeah. You just catch this right now? Right here. Where do you where do they sell fish here? Do they sell fish here? Yeah. Right over here. Right over there? Yeah. But like is it just like this or is it like is there a restaurant and you can buy seafood? So smaller ones. There. Just smaller, smaller ones. ones I need. What kind of fish is this? Snapper. Sorry? Snapper. Snapper. Yeah. I gotta get myself some snapper while yeah. I'm here. Yeah, we you know we got snapper over there. Oh we said it we said it just like this. They gotta cook. I'm not a good cook. Not a good cook? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jamaican girl cook for you. Yeah, exactly. I need a Jamaican <laughs> people to cook for me, you know? Yeah, Pro girl. Proper Jamaican meal. That's why I'm looking for good seafood in this yeah, area. Jamaican girl cook some good seafood for you. Exactly, exactly. Some lobster, some fish, some crab. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The so, thing you want. how many you catch today? Oh, that's all of All this? Yeah. That's a good catch. The scales, like those are all the scales. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, look at that boy. Good boy. Hey boy. You want to take a picture with him yeah, with, with you? Yes. Can I can I hold it? You can hold him and take a picture. Like this? Let's hold him just like this. Where? Oh I'll, show, I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Hold him right here. Oh. oh. Right here. Take a picture. Oh of me, my god. Hey, with you in it. With yeah. you in it, bro. No, get in. Get in. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it dead yet? Yeah. Is it dead? Long time. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, man? Steven. Steven? Yeah. Good to meet you, man. Nolan. Thank you for showing me your fish, sir. Okay, no problem. I'll see you around. Oh, no problem. G good luck with the fishing. Yeah. All right, lads. Oh. Oh. What are your names? Terry. Terry? Terry. Terry. Terry and yours? Trabon. Trabon. Are you guys brothers? Yeah. Nice. How old are you? 
Um, eight? Eight and ten. All right, my tour guides for today are eight and ten. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Yeah. Freedom skate park. That's where we're at. It's funny in Bull Bay, the infrastructure. It's a little lacking, but here, most perfect skate park I've almost ever skated. <laughs> Do it one more, you gotta get your truck on there. Oh, there you go, that was proper. Wanna point this at me now? Yeah, that's the best it's getting. I've yet to skate this thing. Oh. All the kids, they skate in bare feet. So that was my first day in Jamaica and right away I posted this video and I made a couple shorts for it and I got a comment from a guy named Craig and he was just saying welcome to Jamaica. So I click on his profile and I see he does all these adventures like crab fishing and spear fishing. So I just comment back and I'm like, hey man, can you bring me crab fishing? And somehow the exact same day Craig responds and he's like, yeah man, let's go. And by noon, I was getting in his vehicle and we were going to his family's place way out in the country to go crabbing. And Craig, he actually does tours like this for people who want to visit Jamaica. So if you like what you see here with Craig and uh, all the crabbing, hit him up. I'll put his contact on screen because he's a great guy to go on an adventure with. All right. Once again, I'm getting into strange people's cars. This is my new friend Craig. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? What are we doing today? So today we're going to go crab hunting and catch and cook. So when you catch a crab, then we're going to fly back to my family home, and then we're going to be cooking and eating and maybe go by the river. Heck yeah, dude! I've never done or even seen this before. Like. How does it work? It's like a, a marshland, a swampland, and the crabs, you catch them in traps? In, in crates or what? No. So you're going to have to get a little dirty today. So we're going to dig in the water, and you're going to have to walk through the water. When you see a crab on the river bank, you're going to have to catch it with your bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> Is it dangerous? Uh, it's not dangerous, just don't get pinched. Don't get pinched. Oh. Have you got pinched? Yeah. And what is, is it? It does it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Did you ever get any like scars or anything? No. From getting pinched? Okay, so it's not so that time, bad. So by the time they pinch you, you kind of like flush them off. <laughs> you just or you you, you you fry their claws open. Super stoked, guys. I think you're good to open the window now. Oh my gosh, man. This is. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Welcome to Jamaica. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm excited to be here. Look at this. This is just so lush and like thick and beautiful, man. Especially after it just rained. We're like actually in the middle of nowhere. Like there's some houses here and there, but We've been driving deep into the jungle. Jamaica's ever say, we're soon reach. Soon reach. Soon reach. Ah, yes, reach. <laughs> we soon reach. We soon get there. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling hella grateful that I can just post something on TikTok and have super nice people just reaching out to me, like, oh, come through. That's what island life is about. Craig's family also bless their soul. His cousin, his name is Dwight, and their family 
They are just the coolest people. They just welcomed me to their land and took me crab fishing and made me dinner. You're about to see all this, but it's really cool. They're living completely off the land. Like they do sell stuff in their store, but the majority of the stuff that they eat, I mean, 100% of what we ate that night was completely from the land or the river. They have all these trees in their backyard with all these fruit. They have all these animals that they keep. And I noticed this all around Jamaica that a lot of people just live off their land. And it's honestly just like, it's really cool to see. And I think that's the reason why so many Jamaicans are in shape. They're healthy. And I think they're just eating really good food off the land. Oh, we're here. Hey guys, how are you, man? Nolan. Yeah, my respect. Good to meet you, good to meet you. What's your name? My name's Dewey, you know? Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. How's it going? Nolan. Dwight. Nolan. No way, no way. Nolan, yeah. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Oh, These all your dogs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my dogs. Oh my gosh. So many dogs. So many dogs. Do they help you hunt? No, they will well, then watch the yard, you know, because we raise the boat them way. We kind of, then kind of watch the yard. And, they they uh, watch out around? Yeah, man. Security? Security. Yeah. Is this just like a bar? Yeah. Check. So people just come in here, drink some beer, hang out, play yeah. some music? Yeah, man. Is it ever a party up in here? Yeah. Yeah, but November. November. Yeah, one. Peter? Nice party. Oh, you got a sign and everything for it. You're promoting it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Life changes. Oh, I say 25th of this. 25th of? 25th of November. I'm not going to be there then. Yeah, come back. No, you got to have it sooner. Okay, I'll have it sooner. Okay, I'll come back. If you're promising a fun party, I'll come yeah, back. a fun party. <laughs> With the Jamaican people. Yeah, only for Jamaica. I've yet to party here in Jamaica. Look at this. It's gorgeous out here. You guys live here? Yeah, I'm on. Paradise, huh? Yeah, I'm on. Nice place to live, man. <laughs> Looks like it. Look at this jungle we are trekking through. Oh, baby. Have a ride. A lot of, well, how you guys do this? Show. <laughs> you know, you're just me on, man. I'll flick the finger. Yeah. You're not squeeze. You can't bump. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know the, the customs here because people put their hand out. Yeah, I'm like, you fish your gun, but they want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what do I do? Are we doing a handshake? Are we doing a fist bump? Lady on the bus is just like, touch my hand. I'm like, how do you want me to touch it? Like, I was like, are we fist? I'll tell you if it's you. You know? As long as you're civil, you know, as long as there's respect, you know? A lot, yeah. But you know, you guys, for being an island, just like three million people, you have such a big influence on the world. You have, like, one of the most biggest influence on music in the world. You know, sports, sports yeah. Uh -huh. Athletes running, you know. And everyone wants to be like a Rasta, you know. Everyone wants to smoke lead like they're a Rasta. You know, they want to wear the Rasta colors. Are good vibes to come with you, you know, and we give a good meditation too, so that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, one of the vibes to come back to the Rasta culture. Yeah, man. You guys smoke? Yeah, man. Do you guys grow any? Yeah, we have some baby, we have some baby sucker. When I go so, back to the house, we show Some babies you guys show me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Have, and would you say the weed here is good or is it just mellow? No, man. I, well, I, I, I would say the best in the world. Yeah. Put me on my ass? No, no, not like really. Give a good vibe. You know, I go down your ass. Like because yeah. the, the weed in Canada, since it became legal, yeah. they now make it like basically in a laboratory almost, yeah, you know? Well, so like you smoke the Canadian weed that you buy at the dispensary and you're yeah. just on your ass. Yeah, man. Oh. Well, I, well, I that weed, I that weed, the dispensary out here too, because remember them get the ice quality field. Mm. So they're making you know? laboratory weed out here yeah, too. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. This is beautiful, guys. I had to sacrifice my nicest pair of Dickies pants for this. Regardless, I'm stoked to get in the water here. Oh, just, just walk light, man. <laughs> it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. No, I'm doing this with my pants 
and shoes. These guys got shorts and bare feet on. Thank you, sir. We really out here, huh? Oh, it's so sweet, too. <laughs> this might be like one of the sweetest coconuts I've ever tried. Look, so you, uh, you slurp them, yeah. and you cut them open, and you scrape them. Yeah. All that good coconut flesh on the inside. Yeah. Look at him, look at him, scraping it with the other piece of the coconut. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's the scoop piece. See, that's my spoon he just got. Thank you, sir. You're a pro with that, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, You've been using it all your life, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Like it's a spoon. There we go. I could survive on an island. Sure. Yeah, dude. Like, nice. give me one of those. I could eat these all day. You gotta be agile for this. Oh, he's got one. Let's see the boy. Look at me. Nice. Hello, sir. That's where the real fun begins. I thought for some reason I was going to get in this water and I would just be grabbing crabs, putting them in the bag. But this is hard stuff. I could clearly t tell that these guys have been doing it their whole life. Like they are sticking hand their hand in the hole and they're struggling with crabs while they're being pinched and whatnot. And they're still just ripping these crabs out of their holes. It was honestly beast to see. If the water's so murky, how do you spot them? The They're gonna be on the banks. Mm -hmm. And then what's the strategy for catching them? Run and grab before they get in the water. There, you can't really see it, but the amount of stumps and sticks and logs there are to walk over is quite crazy in here. Look at him dig his arm in there. I really hope he comes out with something. He did. He did. Got one. Oh my gosh. Nice. So you stuck your hand right in the hole. That was crazy. Let's see what he's got. Whoa! Look at that one. Look at this. We'll put him in the bag. <laughs> Alright, get in there. Oh, he's feeling it, man. That was making it. How do you feel for your first cup on? That was cool, dude. You good? That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just dug him out of the mud. That was so cool the way he did that. <laughs> he just completely stuck his hand in the hole and then just destroyed the hole and dug him out of the mud. And he washes them off. Beautiful. Yo, if you're PETA watching this, you can <laughs> fuck right off. We gotta eat dinner. There's something very relaxing about this. Like the water is a beautiful temperature. You feel all this stuff against you. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll keep you talking about it the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even know what you got one. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what you got one. Okay, what is this? Wrestling with it. That's hard. Can you get it? Cool, Scott. Right here. He bite you. Pinch. Just pinch. Bite is an aggressive term. They just pinch. Seems like this is a skill that takes quite a while to learn. And it's not for the faint of heart. You just got to get down in there. It's aggressive. Get caught up. But honestly, that just seems like it's all part of the fun. Look at that. They're diving. Look at me out here diving. Boom, baby. <laughs> These guys are actually beasts. Not, no crab stands a chance. <laughs> He's like fidgeting hey, in the hole. He's playing chess, not checkers. Let's get game of wits out here. He's got both his hands in there now. Completely digging out the hole. Buck flat, you know, I'll come out for it. Ah, he had to bite me. I dig you out. I dig. Now I dig and bum buck flat. Ah, fuck you. It's a yellow one, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. You're watching my career. That's an old one. Wow. That was intense. It's like on a... Halloween, where your sack just keeps getting bigger every house you go to. In this case, it's holes. I think that was a bad analogy, but you get what I mean. Oh, I'm in a struggle. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Look at her walk through this in her bare feet. With a bag of crabs. You should put one in here. And he's big too. Right in the sack, get down there. I almost want to feel bad, but at the same time, survival of the damn fittest. <laughs> what do you call these? Like mud crabs or something? River, River crabs. Boom, boom, boom. Bumba clot crab. <laughs> Imagine they had this in Canada or the US and on the menu it said the Bumba clot crab. I came in here thinking, you know, they just see the crab, they catch the crab, cook it up, but it's a lot harder than that. It's basically wrestling with a bush and digging your hand into a hole of mud hoping it doesn't get bitten off. You, you catch more at night? Yeah. Yeah, all of these ones come out, huh? Uh, yeah, more, more on the land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to bring a water bottle with you. It's crazy. You literally just climb a tree, catch a coconut, catch a wild coconut, hunt the coconut. You chop her up, you skin it alive, and you. Going out. I'm thank thank right. you, sir. Just, and then this is your hydration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's almost like acidic. No, when them get tired, yeah. 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 Mm. 
Would that to make your bill, sir? Yeah? <laughs> to make your bill, sir. Yeah. I'm running into that ocean when I see it. That ocean's getting penetrated by my body. I don't think these pants or shoes are a total write-off. The amount of shit I've done in these Nike trainers is absolutely insane. They have scaled the tallest mountains and wrestled the fiercest of creatures in the wild. But they still going, baby. Those look like sealed tight. I got like rocks and stuff in my feet. Okay, I'm gonna run in the sea. <laughs> this feels beautiful after that. <laughs> hey, we really out here. Life's crazy. I am not taking work off. I am not on vacation. This is my weekend. My weekend is the good life. Hit me up if you have any questions about it. Insane. I'll bring the goods. Oh, you hear them? There's some movement in there. They're moving around. <laughs> This is heavy, man. This is a lot of crab, man. The sun is going down over the jungle mountains. It's quite a beautiful sight. And we're about to cook up some crab. Some of them, let's just say, didn't make it. Oh, oh, you lost some limbs in the process. What happened there, buddy? Can I pick one up? How do I do this? Oh, shoot. Yeah. See, I don't know how I would have picked one up in the wild, to be honest. You want to take him off? Oh, you want to? Oh, no, I was going to catch it myself. But, but yeah. Well, you okay? I think you got my dad right today. Do you want to, do you want to de-limb him? Huh? You, t you got him. All you. <laughs> He's got no remorse. I bet you taste great. Sorry, buddy. It's time to die. Eh, that's true. Chew your candle because we love for we already. Thought it was still moving. It just goes right back. Dude, it actually is tough. Yeah. It, like the muscles are still working. Yeah, my muscles are still alright. Yeah. Really good and yeah, everything. Let me see. Let me lock up this tight. Yeah, I'm going to move this again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to do not play. There's a heaven for a G. Stubborn boy. He does not want to go. Mm -hmm. He's not ready to meet God. Watch out. Oh, is he biting mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you are unfazed. <laughs> He's like, that's what you get for butt. Look at that crap. Look at that. Look at this. It still moves. The kitchen's broken. There's a leak. Now we wash them as they still move. Oh, look at that. That's right in there. Which one's this? That's curry powder. Curry powder, curry powder yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. All my friends and family in the United States and Canada, mm -hmm. I just want to say that this is called seasoning. <laughs> I know you've never heard of that word, but this is seasoning. My, my it makes <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. it make food taste good. Jamaicans they use a lot of spices and they make a lot of curries, but it's not like Indian curry at all. It's still very spicy, one of the spiciest cuisines in the world, but it is so good. Jamaican food is one of the best and most underrated foods in the world. This was honestly one of the best meals of my life. And everything we had was fresh, caught that day or taken from the tree that day. How spicy is a scotch bonnet? Is it very spicy? Yeah, man. Let me try a little sliver. Oh, yeah. You have milk? 
Oh, is it gonna be that right, spicy? That is gonna be the two. Okay, let's see my reaction. Mm. Oh, baby, it, hit, <laughs> it hits you right away. It's not like one that lingers. Yeah, like yeah. this hits you right off the get go. Mm. It's quite violent, it just attacks your mouth. Bro, that's a gnarly pepper. I feel violated. <laughs> brick fruit. Brick fruit. Yeah, brick fruit. Bread. Fruit. A fruit, a fruit made of bread. Juice and this is like the, the coconut milk, the coconut yeah. curry. Beautiful. More curry. More the curry. You never have enough seasoning. Remember? That's the word of the day. Seasoning. Seasoning. That's good. Mm. Flavor. The flavor of Jamaica. You'll be a real Jamaica my friend, baby. I just don't know how to say the, the slang. You know, bomba clot. Bomba clot club. Yeah. Onion. Are all the veggies grown here? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Literally, everything we're eating today was either grown here or grabbed from the river today. Straight from the source. Love it. What's that? You're, oh, yeah, let me see. This is the plantains? Yes. Nice. Right in your yard. And the breadfruit's here too? Yeah, breadfruit too, they don't want. We don't need no mixer. No, it's straight. That's straight? Too much, that's too much, man. <laughs> yeah, that's too much for you? For you? <laughs> no, it's not, I swear, I'm fine. Are we partying like that? No, we don't no, need just, just, have a trouble. <laughs> just a little bit with dinner. We almost got a straight head doorstep. Great. See, let me show you. Wait, what, show, what is this? This is a water. I'm going to show you. No, you, you. don't. Why? Yeah, come in and ask a show. You're a madam. That's how you do it. We're mixing it with water. We're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you're drinking away, I'm going to say, 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 i am going to say 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 i <laughs> okay, no, no, no water, just a bit though. I mean, that's such little, but okay, down the hatch. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> saludos. Bomba clots, man. That is harsh. <laughs> I feel it. It's a good burn. It's a good burn. <laughs> oh, I feel it now. It's going down. That's why they drink the water. That's why they drink the the, the water. But it, you know it, when it <laughs> when it goes down though, it like it feels nice. The worst enemy. The worst enemy. Or or your best friend. Some nights are best friend, some nights are worst enemy. So this is your first curry crop that you catch, cook and clean. Yes, sir. My family. <laughs> Look at this. You got the, what is this? No, this is a plantain? Yeah, yeah that's a plantain. A I'm gonna dip it green in the Green plantain, okay, ripe green. plantain and, and bread fruit. This curry is amazing. Bread fruit with the curry. I see that they call it breadfruit, man. Yeah, it's light bread. It's, it's like bread, it just soaks in the curry. Yeah. And it's just like a good neutral, like, kind of hearty, starchy fruit, I guess. How, how do I get in this? Ah, uh, you just break it into like that. Yeah, just, that, just like that. Like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, take out the meat out mm -hmm. of that. Wait, really? <laughs> you cut out that meat. 
Oh, this is all meat? Yeah, mm-hmm. dip oh. it in the curry. <laughs> yeah, you can get it flavor. Because it don't have it got a flavor mm-hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. And to be fresh, you catch too. You want the curry for it. It broke mm-hmm. the other person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> Bumbo cloth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yes, oh did. my gosh, look at all that mm. meat. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit without the curry. Yeah, can I get it nice without I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. As if we just caught this today. Yeah, man, and that's why it is well soaked, you know? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> and you know, it's like, um, you can tell it's like the fresh river crab. It doesn't have that, like, that fishy oceanness to it. Yeah, man. You got any napkins? <laughs> Napkin? Or a cloth or something? Yeah. See a napkin, huh? Yo, your napkin, huh? Napkin? Napkin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going again. And then going again. <laughs> the rum gave me the belly tingles, but once it stopped uh, boiling in my belly, everything tastes amazing. So after leaving Kingston, I went to Negril and I stayed out here at this place called Judy House. It's a very lovely hostel and it's surrounded by all these trees and nature. It's lovely. And I met this Australian guy, Sheesh, and he was saying he's been going to this same Aki place every day and eating, and the Rasta people there are so nice, and they always play music, and it's just a good all-around vibe. And I was like, dude, you got to show me this place. And they were like, come, film. Uh, We'll show you all around the land. We'll show you how we're living off the land and all the natural medicines that we take. And I was stoked. These people we met this day were some of the greatest, highest, energy people I've ever had the privilege of meeting and filming I reckon it's time to try the national dish of the island of Jamaica you reckon it's time I'm definitely king yeah where we been this place is nice huh this is gorgeous yeah gorgeous the Judy house talk to this while I put my shoes on nice explain them about the Judy house where we are we're in uh we're pretty much in a rainforest, like in the middle of a rainforest in uh, Negril, Jamaica. Show you a little bit around uh, about this hostel. It's called the Judy House. You got the uh, Aki tree. It's right here. This one's the darn Aki tree. Look at all this Aki they got up there. And that's the national fruit. And it has these little seed-like thingies that whenever you boil them up, Looks exactly like scrambled eggs. I think there's some over here. This is the boy, Xavium. <laughs> <laughs> but Xavium here makes some good hockey. Yeah, man. Bless <laughs> up, man. Anytime you want the hockey on the sausage, man, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's my dog. And then look, just over here, you got fresh avocados. And the great thing is, oh, that one's a breadfruit too down there. They just don't even care if you just grab them straight from the tree and have them with your dinner. But we're gonna head to our boys' restaurant. Um, they make good ackee. They got the chalice, which you will see. Hey, doggo! And this is the whip. Sorry, bub. So, got my phone. Yes, wallet. Yes. <laughs> Laptop, yes. Charges, yes. Passport. Yes. yes. <laughs> The checklist. What a setup where I'm, I'm vlogging with, uh, I got my homie on the back with all his bags and shit on this little bumpy road. But we're out here living, you know what? The only thing is, you gotta remind myself that in this part of the world, they drive on the left side of the road. And I made that mistake yesterday. Like I just stopped, my brain just stopped working and I'm just, I just thought I was in uh, Canada. <laughs> I went to the wrong side of the road, but. I quickly adjusted after I almost had a head-on collision, but don't worry, we're out here. Look at this guy, I reckon he's getting the Aki down. Yeah? Yeah, he is. He's Aki hunting. Hey. We're good. Oh, look at that beautiful beach. Beautiful tree coming up on the right, which just looks iconic. I'm in Jimmy. 
This is the spot. Hello, hello. I knew Jamaica had a lot of influence on music, but coming here, I did not expect every single person and their grandmother is a musician or they can sing, they can rap, they can sing reggae. And all of them, they want to drop you a verse. They're not shy. They want to sing you a song or something they made up, something original. And that's exactly what happened today. This was like, we just jammed out on this day. Especially my friend Sheesh, he's a producer. So he started playing some of his beats. And these guys started to put down on it. It was great. Hey, Nolan. Good to meet you. Yeah, boy. Right now. Nolan. No, yeah. You call me no, Seal. No, no. Big up the man called Seal inside the building. Yee! The man called Seal. I don't know where. Shish. Nice a million, bro. A million, a million bro. Wait the town and tell the people about this brand new musical this coming your way. Good chat, me forward. Seal said liquid, mean rewind. Big up a something there. <laughs> Are uh, you on the radio? Yeah. You're on the. Yeah. Houston. What's your radio name? Houston DJ Bean, Houston Radio. Houston DJ Bean? Yeah, Bean. Beam. No, DJ Beanie. Beanie. What's up, buddy? Yeah, man. How you doing, man? Thank you, man. Came back from Oraki. Yeah, you got it here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just picked yeah, today. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Here they come. Hey, boss. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, man. <laughs> Double Aki. I wanna take a peek at this. Look how beautiful it looks. It's like so silky. So you take this part off this seed. Nice, and it comes man. in that red fruit that's over there. Yeah. Go, sorry? Change? Yeah, whenever we get some ackee. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You got the chalice? You want to yes, hit the man. chalice yeah. today? Yeah, man. <laughs> you got to see this chalice. AJ. Yeah. How you doing, man? Ah, Good to see you, bro. Ah, I love my bro. <laughs> One love, brother. Every time. Yeah, hey, bro. Great, man. Good man, you all good man. Everything is good man. When it come to me, man, you all good man. You all one family, man. Everything's all good out all here. All good man. Hey. You got this from the market, or can you get this from the tree? Yeah, I get it from the the, the, the vine tree. It's, it's yeah, it's a vine tree. Is it around here? Yeah. My friend, my friend could show you the tree where this beer and right here. Yeah. yeah. Once again, so many Jamaicans just grow their own food like this guy here he did not have a huge plot of land but he was just growing so much stuff in his land and i honestly didn't think a guy like him would be growing food not to stereotype but he was like this rapper dude and like i don't know if you think of rappers you don't think they got a plot of land in the country where they're self-sustaining like i guess he's just like a cunt he's a country rapper i think jamaicans are just super open to share their culture with you and how they're living because it was truly unique and he showed me all around his yard so how much stuff grows like just in the trees here like i know you got the ackee you got pumpkin plantains mangoes. you got mangoes there yeah are the mangoes ripe yeah are we able to pick one i am in I picked two for you, but here's the pumpkin. Here's the pumpkin? Yeah, this is the pumpkin. Right oh, okay. So it runs, and within there, you have pumpkin busted up at these spots. So we get that big round food. Yeah. We have none on this right now. It's just... Is this is this your land? Yeah, this is my farm. Oh, this is... So you live here? Yeah. Cool, man. So I have a lot of kinds, beans. These are beans running on the fence, so when they are ready to eat they are very nice they are like peas awesome man and do you uh, have any animals too yeah i have dog puppies dog puppy oh the yeah. security yeah <laughs> <laughs> so my so if you look so this is my my dog right now white foot yeah white foot yeah are you a vegetarian no i i eat meat too oh, okay because i know some of the guys over there the rasta so yeah, they're vegetarian yeah, the rasta they really yeah that is a rasta thing to be a vegetarian yeah exactly so I have local cane roots, you know canes? Yep. Yeah, local cane, local yam. You know yam? Yeah, yam is great. So this is what yams grow on, like a pumpkin. Okay. It grows on a vine. See the hair? See the hair there, right there? Oh, you got more? Yeah, there. Oh, they usually got some puppies? Yeah. How old are they? They are just like three weeks, two weeks. Oh my. They're very cute. What kind of dogs are they? 
I call them, we are we have in Jamaica mongrels. 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 Mongrels? Yeah. Okay. That means that they are just like the common, if you look around, you see a lot of chicken running up and down, so they are common chickens. Mm -hmm. They are not no layer, no hybrid. Mm -hmm. just yeah. <laughs> just the common one. Mm -hmm. Is Whitefoot the, the dad? No, Whitefoot is a baby, he's a boy. Oh, he's still a baby. Yeah. What uh, What's this neighborhood called? Um, Whitehall. Sorry? Whitehall. Whitehall. Okay, we're here in Whitehall. Yeah. They got the mango tree in their backyard. Oh, I see them there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want me to try? Yeah, Can I try? Why not? Do you want to hold this for why me? Why not? Thank you, sir. So you just hit him, right? So this guy is here picking up. <laughs> oh, I got one. It's ripe. That's right? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a green, yeah, it's a green mango. Yeah, it's a green uh, okay. green skin. So we can go cut this. Awesome. Yeah. I've never tried one like this. And they're sweet, right? Yeah. Uh, sweet. I don't know. We'll, one. We'll, we'll try it out, we'll try it out. So I have one plant, and if you look close, you see one of my bananas shooting right there. Too. Okay. Yeah, oh, I see them over there. And is that your Aki tree there? Yeah, right in my front yard. Nice, man. You, you got a lot. You got the mangoes, too. We'll yeah. try the mangoes. And I and I plant some mango seed. So yep. They have, they have just turned seedlings. Yep. So when they grow up a little bigger, I'm gonna take them and plant them in the community. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Wow. So you're just donating seeds. Whenever yeah. you have the stuff, you'll give it to. You can, oh. This is age, you know. You come yep. smell this plant. See the corn tree. This is the corn. This is corn. Yeah. This is the corn tree and the okra tree. Oh, that nice. one is the hokro, we be the sipper thing, <laughs> and this one is the coco gongo tree. Gongo, gongo, gongo peas. Is this gonna be um, yeah. scotch bonnet? Yeah, this one is the scotchy. Oh, the and this one, yeah, these are the long life of living. They call it leaf of life. You wash it and eat. You wash it and throw it like this. I show you. Medicine. medicine. Can I, can I eat one? Yeah. So it's medicine. Medicine. Keep you strong. <laughs> and um. What does it do for you? It goes for everything about you. you know, it's the it. system. It makes everything is right for you. Cause it's the long life of living. It's leaf of life. It never die. Yeah. So you chew up that thing and you swallow the juice and spit out the trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could swallow it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. it I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste the best. But, <laughs> but I'll, I believe you if it's good for me, you know? One of the things that fascinates me about Jamaica and especially the Rastas is their natural medicine, specifically the roots, man. They take these roots from the ground and all these spices and different thing and they squeeze them out until they have this liquid, this juice, and they drink this to get healthy and live to a hundred years old. And I've tried a couple different Rasta roots. Some of them were actually decent. Like the ones I tried this day, they burned, but they didn't taste that bad. But then trying some of them after this, they're the most god awful thing I've ever drank. But there must be a good reason why they drink these roots and they consume the things they do because they are not tasting good, but they must have like incredible benefits to your health. So you guys believe in a lot of like medi like um, natural medicines, yeah, natural, natural medicines. Uh, even yeah. these, watch when you come at the Rasta man, yeah. you see this one is the chain root. We make the roots where we drink and get strong. This one is the chain root. Yeah, oh, it just looks like. Oh, look at that wasp. Yeah, it looks like ma a massive piece of ginger. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. And this one, see the ginger. What's this look like? This is ginger. Okay. Yeah, this one is the ginger. Yeah. This is the Medina from the tree run on the ground where it's make. When you put this in the chain roots yeah. and you put it and with, with the with the with the, with the pimental leaf, that's the bear bear, bear leaf. Mm. This one is the bear, bear leaf mm -hmm. from the from the bear tree. That's the pimental leaf tree. And these are the, the the ginger. We carry a lots of eat, just like oh, the pepper. It's so good. It's number you. one spice in everything. Yeah. And when you come out here, you see the chain roots back off the roots. Them I made them. This one is the roots. Yeah. Yeah. This one is seven air hole. And this is all the all chi root. All these brood. All chi root. This one <laughs> is the sorrel. When you come to Jamaica, you come at the Rasta place, you'll get the natural roots. So, See, this one is the Billy Clark. 
Yeah, man. This one is the Billy Clark. This might in a stone ginger wine bottle, but it's not stone ginger wine. They do a lots of things to the back, to the bones, <laughs> and cure you from cancer and sugar. And yeah, that's the, that medicine for it. This one is the three man strength, where make you got three man strength in one. <laughs> so when you go and for ride the girls and you take a drink of my roots, like the three man strength, God, this one is 13 year old. 13 years, I have this one in cure in the box. I'll dust on it. And then we have this one you now. We have them so so long. This is another one. You see how it's crystallized? Yeah. 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 This one is another one. This one is 22 year old. Oh yeah. my god. I made that one. But it might be in a red label wine bottle, but it's not a red yep. label wine. I know what you mean. Yeah. I'm gonna take off all these label off it and I forget the time and yep. put it just the right way and put my label on it. Make mm. when you see what it you're gonna see like if I have chain root in it yep. and the raw moon, I'm gonna put them on my label and make you see what it's all about. Okay. Yeah. So we just deal with natural things in the earth. Yeah. We try to get all things from the earth. This one is purge you from sickness, from Diabetes, yeah. cancer, sugar, all these things. A yeah. AJ, Look at that. one of them I'm, that's. I'm 47 year old. And I feel like when I was 16 year old, that <laughs> I drink all these type of roots. What's when I boil like all this Cheney root, I feel like a big man. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, man. Wow. Uh, this one is the pepper. This, this, one, this one is the bird pepper with the thing they call the noni from the noni tree. Yeah. I just take like a shot of it. When I feel like the Nicole, I mean, yeah. Nicole and thing with the Guinean root, yeah. I use like the Guinean root, the Cheney root, the Sassy Verla root, make this one. And the bird pepper, it's kind of a little stingy, but it's not bitter. So okay. this is the Cheney root? Yeah, that yeah. is the Cheney root. We make all the root. Can I, can I try? Yes, man. You could take one. Yeah, I Just like that. It. It's so good. Wow. Okay. This one clearly chose. So this is what I'm trying. Yeah. A syrup made of the Cheney, Cheney root. Yeah. With a little bird pepper, have a little bit stingy, but no problem. Yeah, it, it burns a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Jeez, I bet. Like you gotta, that. you gotta try it, dude. Yeah, man, it's so nice. good. I appreciate it's so good. it. When you come to Jamaica, man, it's in in the hot country. Yep. You get natural medicine. Oh. From, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the real thing. <laughs> real man. Yeah. I'm gonna dig one of the Guinean root and show you what it look like. Awesome. Just, what? You see the Guinean root. When I need that root, I come like right here. Like this one. This one. This one is the Guinean root. It's all about it's in the earth under the right at the Aki tree. Yeah, this one is the Aki tree. Yep. But this root is the Guinean root. We all put this one in the root. This one, it's good for cancer, sugar, blood pressure, all these things. Yeah, it's so good and from in the ancient times, oh. teach me about it. This one is the dark blood. We purify all the blood. All your blood, if you feel like sicky, I know way, you just pull this one. This one is the dark blood. I'm gonna show you what it look like. See it here? This is the dark blood. Yeah, this one is the dark blood. Yep. It carries a lot of blood for your bone. This root is so powerful. It's the Guinean root. When you take this and take a little bit of it and boil the tea, no form of coal, now gas can come at you. You feel so strong when you drink this tea. I don't know how to cut this necessarily. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Yeah. A little spiciness to yeah. it, huh? Who likes sea breeze, girl in me? Miss Don't put your knee, please, like you are repeat. Spanish tone, but Miss PP. If them these links them very cheaply, then we think about it from the EP. Talk to my GP, pick up on yourself. Life is a thing, well, if life can die, we tell about life. Life is a thing, well, if life is a thing, don't die. Life can do not on and on and on. People are fun and fun and on and on. People are this fun and fun and on and on. And next day be born and on and on life It's a thing we can die life Blooms on Rasta tell him about life Life is ups and down Life is ups and down Today you up and tomorrow you gone underground Life is ups and down The Life is ups and down Life is ups and down Today you 
up and tomorrow you die. Huh? Unity straight away, we feel over one and then down and we not touch no go now, we not touch it back ya. Yeah. Earth man a smoke and a holy hitation, we not go wrong no car. Fucking good ass. Yeah. Roof is on fire. Here comes the, the pumpkin. Oh baby. Yeah, that is pumpkin and the right plant in cooking in that pot. Yeah. And we have like the haki. The haki there. Cooking there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is the seasoning we like call up the for aki. Really, yeah. What kind of um spices go into the haki? Yeah, well uh, well these yeah you see here are gonna be in the haki. Yeah. yeah. It, it's a lot of garlic too, yeah, right? Garlic, tomato, skelly and sweet pepper, and carrot. Mm -hmm. All these made up for the haki. This is shish is trash. And these are guys are putting down on it. My badness a brand new badness My badness a rose new badness My badness a blue seed badness My badness a dance all badness See me, me a the power with them flow It's a delete and me show it Speed it up and slow it A the flow me just a go with A the river them me grow it Yo my brain tell flow it Mesmerize the public them send me to the road Me a the power with them flow It's a delete and me show it Speed it up and slow it A the flow me just a go with A the river them me grow it Yo my brain tell flow it Mesmerize the public them send me to From the start, me me indicate People give me send me late Yellow what me no fly in She's a single gate You know send me great Me affiliate with originality me not yeah. It just looks so fresh and alive. Carrot, no saltfish. This one is just like carrot, just sweet ackee. pepper, sweet pepper, aki, carrot. Onion, garlic, a little bit of scotch bonnet. Yeah, that's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> they don't eat this meal anywhere else in the world. Right. And yeah, it's what? Wonderful. What is it? Carrot, ginger. Yeah. And lime. Carrot, ginger, lime. Yeah. It's a little sweet. Do you add any sugar to it? Just a little honey. Just a little honey. Yeah. All right. This is so. This is carrot, ginger, honey, lime. Oh, it's so good. It doesn't even taste like, this is a little, little, little bitterness of carrot, but like for the most part, it's just like a sweet juice. Euro. Who, who's Euro? Do you want an OG make rapper? An OG Jamaican rapper? Yeah, he's, he originated oh. rap, oh. rapping. He originated it? Yeah, rap, rap. This guy? Yeah. Ah, okay. This is rapping. This is rapping now in Jamaican style. How long ago was this? In the 60s. 60s? Too long. Okay. Wait it down and tell the people. Yeah! Yeah! It's in your way, it's out there. It's in your way. Oh! Oh, thank my you, goodness. sir. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> That's a happy man. AJ, once again, thank you very much. Look at this plate. Wow. AJ, so tell us what's on here. Yeah. What have we got here? <laughs> Dude, this is a huge plate. Right. This is fucking I'm excited. awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, well, we have like yam and bananas and dumpling with some haki and salt fish with like the steamed veg and like tomatoes and garlics and all those things. Amazing dude. Amazing. I'm excited to get into it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> See, it looks exactly like scrambled eggs and the taste is kind of similar, but it's soft and, and then, oh yeah. So you, you got, is there salt fish this time? Yeah, so because I, I, I tasted a little bit of the fishiness and it's nice. It's like, it's not too fishy, it's just a little bit of fishiness and it's a good touch. So salty, garlicky, fishiness, a lot of um, no? Mm. You can only get this here. Oh man, unreal. Love it. Like, I really, really, really like it. It's so um, I think the texture is a big part of what makes it good as well. Like, it's just like, melts in there. It's not, you don't have to work hard, you just like, yeah. it's cool in it's crazy that it's a fruit. Yeah, I don't really view it as a fruit. No. It's more as a vegetable, but... Yeah. But it's almost like pasta-like. Yeah. Like, the texture. 
Out of 10. Oh, mate, like, honestly, it's one of my favourite things of eating. Like, honestly, it's up there. I'd give it a 9.7. Well, that's generous. Yeah, I'd put it up in the nines. I'd give it like a, a nine, nine one. What's that? No, I just, oh, he, he just asked for change. I was okay, just gonna okay. give him some change. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Okay, I appreciate okay. everything. Thanks for showing us around, man. Yeah. It's been fun. Thanks, boss. Leroy, glad to meet you. Good luck tonight. Yeah. Leroy, thanks, boss. You wanted some change? There you are, boss. Cheers. Peace, Wrinkle. Respect. Much love, respect. Res respect, guys. Bye, AJ. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Alrighty. All right. We'll rock out of here. You good? Yeah. Oh, sad. <laughs> Woo. A Jimmy's. That's what it's called. Jimmy's in the grill. Oh, yeah. Hold up, boys. You see, I'm trying to vlog while do this. Yeah, so AJ's Aki. It's called Jimmy's Aki Tree. Um, and it's here in the grill. Uh, just message me if you want the Addy, okay? It's not, you're not gonna be able to just find it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's on Google. Mate, the Jamaican hospitality is something else. They, they went out above and beyond, like, you know, if you want weed, you're good. If you want food, if you want drinks. Yeah, man. Literally whatever you want. If you want to put your tunes on and get them all to rub over. Yeah, man. It's fucking easy. They look like, uh, they just live like mellow and slow, you know? Yeah. It's not like... Yeah. There's not, no rush, no, you know? Nothing's rushed, like... That's right here, isn't it? Everything's very chill, like hang out with your people, you know? Yeah. Get, get the act in the back. I think it's just here, bro. What's that? It's just here. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was somewhere else, man. No, it's just here. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. Man, yeah, it should be good. It's been a fucking pleasure. Dude, it's actually been fucking <laughs> awesome, <laughs> man. Dude. Like, Fucking keep in touch for sure. See you in another part of the world, dog. Absolutely. If you, if, uh, you come to Australia someday. Fuck yeah, mate. So got, got okay, story. enjoy. Oh, I'll probably may, maybe I'll see you in Kingston, oh, dude. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna get there Sunday. Fuck I'll yeah. Be there until um until Wednesday afternoon. So it might not be goodbye just yet. Shout out Sheesh, that guy is a G. I meet so many cool people traveling and staying at hostels and I found like Jamaica wasn't really like a backpacking country. Like there wasn't really a lot of hostels and like a backpacking culture, but the people who want to actually like travel there, like off the resorts are pretty cool people. Cause you know, people talk about Jamaica. They talk about how it's so dangerous and you can't travel there off the resorts. Um, and a lot of people listen to this, but like the people who actually want to go experience a real Jamaica who are from other places and have like a fascination with the Island, like really appreciate the Island life and they're cool people. And honestly, like I'm like one of those people now I want to keep going back to Jamaica like Sheesh too. Sheesh, he's all the way from Australia, the other side of the world. He loves Jamaica. So a couple of days later, my friend Craig, the one I went crab fishing with, he told me he's going to be in the grill and him and his friends are going to be shooting doves. And I didn't really know what that meant, but he sent me an address and he's like, come meet me here. So it was really funny at this time, I'd been rolling out some of my Jamaica content, posting on TikTok. And since it's a small island, a lot of people were actually like, yo, I saw you on TikTok. So right when I rolled up to this house, I was like, yo, is Craig here? And I take off my helmet and this girl, Kim, in the video, she's like, yo, I recognize you from TikTok. And then the girl who owned the house and the bar there, her daughters also recognized me from TikTok and they were like, all starstruck. So yeah, this is how it plays out there. Once I realized they recognized me, I started filming and it was so funny. Whoa, oh, listen to that. We're going on an next TikTok. <laughs> okay, and so what's your name? Hi. What's my your name? Kim. Your name's Kim? Yeah. And you recognize me? Yes. From the, the from the Bomba Clots. <laughs> Bomba Clots. I shot the rum and I was like Bomba Clots. Bomba Clots. The second I took off my helmet, she's like, I recognize you. She saw the hair. <laughs> Can you tell us your page? This one. That's so funny. You don't need no mixer. Senior. <laughs> I am someone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. Good, good to meet you. 
Listen, I, I listen. Yeah, what's up, Ken? Um, I, I, I like you dressed up, but Jesus Christ, big up, big up, big up, my cousin from Kingston. Big up, my girl Kim. Sammy is big up. What's that? Bumbo Clot. Bumbo Clot. Yeah. Did you see that? That one of them from. We got a bum TikTok. <laughs> I'm gonna find Craig. Uh, come here, come here, Michelle. We'll go. Okay. Okay. Cool. And so you live here, Kim? No, I actually live next door. Maybe okay. Here, but y'all just having a little drinky day today? Oh, well, maybe. I always have a drinky day now. <laughs> always. Every day is a drinking day. Every day I'm drinking beer. But overall, I am like the Steve Urkel for this house. <laughs> I am the one neighbor that pops up in your kitchen while you're cooking. I love that. <laughs> And I cannot fucking get rid of me. So, is this the outfit you chose for shooting day? Well, I, no, you know, to be honest, I didn't know that they were shooting. And you just knew there was a little bit of drinking going on right now. I know, drinking happens normally. Love the class. <laughs> Kim, you're still a goose. <laughs> Let me tell you, I don't lie. Bumble clots, man. Wow, that shit's loud. Hello, you want to come up here now? <laughs> Yo, no one just said it up. The same follow the line, you may write in there. Tell me, people. <laughs> turn, 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 You find the first one? Hello, me. I got the view, because Mickey and Mandy is pew pew. Oh, I, don't, oh, okay. I don't think Craig's up here. Where is he? Oh, he's in the bush. Thanks, thanks, man. Watch your step with the nail. Watch your You're not in the right attire for this. Look at your. No, baby, this is Jamaican. We have to use the old kind of rocks. Respect. Daddy. <laughs> hey, Anta, can you? Hey, one piece of Andrews bite me while I'm Yeah? Yeah, but we Okay, I'm gonna go. Where'd Kim go? Ah, I'll, we'll go see Kim later. Yeah? Kim's entertaining. I quite like Kim. She's a fun person to be around. But right now, we gotta find Craig. We found his truck. I hope I don't get like shot while I'm here. Like I see them in the bush, but like I'm actually quite scared in case they're aiming towards the road. Yeah, they're aiming this way. Yo, Craig. Yo. What's up, bro? Well, Am I safe to walk? I'm good. Okay, I just see that guy there with a big gun and it was kind of pointing this way. So it kind of scared me. Hey, bro. Hey. How's it going? Right. Nolan, good to meet you. What's up, bro? Well, I'm brother. Yeah, well. Nolan, good to cool, meet you. Cool, cool, cool. Nolan. Okay, nice. Dude, good, good to see you. Thanks for the invite. Hey, Nolan, nice good to meet you. Me. What's going on, guys? Yeah. I was already at the house, met a couple of people there. Yeah. They were nice. So, what are you hunting today? Some doves, man. Some white crown doves. <laughs> white crown doves? And you, you eat the doves? And other things. Lit. <laughs> you basically like eat whatever you shoot with wings. <laughs> How many have you uh, shot today? I haven't shot any. I don't well, know who's everyone here. I think between everybody, maybe I don't know, ten, twelve. Yeah. And you're just gonna cook cook them up later? Cooking some up right now. Jim. Cooking up some right now. They're grilling some bread, right? Yeah. All right. James is grilling the bird. No, I'm all guy with a grilling. So if you want, we'll catch it if you can catch it. Oh, where? Where? Okay, where? Word. Come back in, slow, come back in! Brad, Brad, Brad! My bird! <laughs> <laughs> Good shooting, bro. <laughs> Bump that. <laughs> that was gnarly. <laughs> 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 
we're in the bush, but we're, we're still not in the bush. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we're we're still in a residential neighborhood, basically. Rural, <laughs> rural. rural. <laughs> Are those big enough? No, those are parrots. Oh, oh, you yeah. don't shoot the parrots. Okay, I didn't oh, sorry, even notice. Yeah, I wouldn't want to shoot a parrot. Oh. 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 That was intense. Two more coming. Got him. Country boys! <laughs> this is gonna turn me into a country boy, I swear. <laughs> I'm I'm from like the country, but like I've never really hunted before. Not like this. <laughs> no, not like this, let me tell you that. You know you want. There's a fair bit of them coming right there. Come up, come up, Brad. Find your phone. What a shot! <laughs> that was a good one. I hope you got that one. I got that one. <laughs> Clear as day. Good job, man. <laughs> All right, James is going to show me the cooking. Thank you, James. Good man. One family, you know? Yeah, so this is uh, all your family here. Where you guys live? Yeah, my family is here. Don't buy red gong. Yeah. Don't buy tanky, same way too. So we have a lot of family. We have one family. One. You, you, you in the family too? Part of me? Of course. I'm part of the family today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's the Jamaican spirit. One love, no, brother. No, no. Not everybody say one love, I mean it. Yeah, of course. Not everybody said one love in Jamaica, I mean. Yes. Some people don't talk from their heart. Yeah. And talk from their lips. Yeah. But this company here, I'm a leader for it. When I say I'm a leader, I'm a country that gets organized, right? And no fucker can go on, so we say one family. <laughs> yeah, you can't fuck around. Yeah, respect, no brother. Around, man. Oh, yeah. Chef, see chef, Yo, you know. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 respect, yeah. brother. Yes, Good I to meet you. Yeah, You're the man. pigeon chef. Yeah, I yeah, got to leave with the chef, right? Chef, yeah. yeah. This, this is the chef. For, That's my brother, same way too. It's your brother, same way. When I said brother, yeah. just we organize the thing going on. about the same blood, but Yeah. So now, we have a pick up, so we know you, you can, anything you want in the video, yes. this one is no right. Thank, Thank you, James. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. You, you, you hand, my brother. One love, brother. No problem, my brother. <laughs> I'm Colin. All of Colin? them called me Samuel Jackson. You but can't no, <laughs> you know, man, but no problem. Can you, can you do yeah. the voice like yes, him? I can do the voice like him, like say, fuck you guys. You understand? Don't fuck around, guys. Do the voice like him, same way. Because all people call me oh, Samuel Jackson. So I say, hey, you fucking guys, don't fuck around, guys. We need something and we want to bring it now. You understand? Oh, respect. Yes, that is the way. You ever watch snakes on a plane? Yes. That's my plan. There's too many motherfucking <laughs> yeah, snakes yeah, on man. this motherfucking plane. Motherfucking plane. Yeah, man. I'm yeah, shooting man. the windows. Yeah, man. I know that too, man. Fuck yeah, Samuel Jackson. Too, so look at all yeah, these man. pigeon skins. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. I want to get some. It's, it's a dirty it. job, but someone's got to do it. Yeah, they say we must get some of them for them to roast on the fire and are going to fry too. Mmm. Yeah. And you gotta clean all their guts out, like you see what they've yeah, been man, eating that clean. day? Yeah man, it's clean already. We're just gonna wash them out, get okay. them perfect now. Yeah. We're just gonna rewind. Wow. And so, you're making a pigeon soup? Yes, what, I make some pigeon soup. What now. goes into the soup besides the pigeons? I have like carrot and pumpkin, mm -hmm. and Irish, and support. You understand? And two dumplings, mm. piece of breadfruit, mm. and support. That's what we have in there. And Excellent. we have the pigeon in there too, and some chicken neck. Excellent. Yes, chicken foot and support. All of what they eat, you understand? I understand, So man. I know you guys love, love all the jerk chicken. Yeah. Yes, so no problem, okay? Yeah, how would you describe the taste of a uh, pigeon? Well, the taste of a pigeon now, very perfect and nice. When you're gonna, when you taste a pigeon like you'd want to really eat it more than once, mm. more than twice. Yeah. You because of a different type of vital taste in it yeah and it's so perfect and when you taste it like i don't even know what to say is a different taste mm -hmm. perfect and nice that's why all the people always to like the white the pigeon yeah and like the ball plate the, the, you have an next one they call the dove mm -hmm. that is a p dove and you have one named the lapwing 
this is the ball plate and we have the wild pigeon mm. all of them so fucking nice and they all taste a little different than each other nice all of them so nice so nice amazing you brother it's amazing yeah you understand so we yeah. like that respect brother remember samuel is here samuel jackson taking care of everything for you so when you're ready you know to treat me respect man no problem i'll see you soon okay, peace samuel what i didn't realize that samuel L. jackson said there he was like i'm taking ev care of everything for you so when you're ready you know how to treat me and with the thick jamaican accent it just flew over my head he was basically saying like i'm cooking you dinner so if you want to toss me some cash like, I'd appreciate that. And I'm pissed that, like, I didn't. Because Samuel, he was a G. I actually definitely wanted to toss him some cash. But one thing I don't really like about island life is a lot of people ask for things just to ask for them. They ask you, are you buying beer? You want to buy me a beer? You literally just be going up to buy lunch. Someone in line with you is like, hey, you want to buy me lunch? But what happened next was super weird. So uh, Kim was like, hey, do you want a beer? And she was selling me a beer for 350 because she knows the price. And then the lady who owned the shop was like, oh, I want 500 now. And it was just super weird. It was just like, just because I was buying a beer, she's asking for 500 with no shame, basically admitting she's raising the price. And then also asking like, oh, I thought you were going to buy me a beer. It's like, you own the shop. And then she's like, oh, I thought you're buying Kim a beer. And now I went from buying one beer for 350 to buying three beers for 500 like i get i get charged a beer for more but they also charge me more for the beer she got and the one kim got and then after all this she's just like do you want the change or are you drinking the change and this was just like weird to me because she and her daughter saw me on beforehand on tiktok they knew i was there filming and they know the kind of content i make so like why are you exposing yourself in 4k like you think you just be like yeah here's a beer for the normal price but like no offense like you're kind of making an ass of yourself and then right when i get done that the boys are like something for the boys at this point i don't mind it like if you're gonna be nice to me i'll buy you a beer and if we can connect that way that's cool but yeah i did not expect that coming here hey bro how you doing nolan i'm k k yeah, Good to meet you. Yeah, man. Where are you from? Uh, Canada. Canada. Where yeah. Canada? Ottawa. Oh, Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah, okay. but many Jamaican people, they live in Toronto. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. Sup? How's the rum? <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's good, huh, Kim? Would you like a beer? A beer? Yeah. I'll take a beer, yeah? Okay. Uh, let me get a bottle. Let's see! I, I am very... <laughs> Respect, man. Hey. Respect, man. What, what, so what, you, what do you do? Um, I work as a social media manager, but I also do t YouTube stuff. Okay. Yeah, Kim. Red stripe? Yeah. How much one of those cost? 350? You want to hold this for me? No, I want 500. You want 500 now? Yeah, oh. she owes you 500. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just get the change later. Or maybe I'll just get one more later. I'm not getting five hundred. What's that? I thought I was getting it for myself. Oh, for yourself? Yeah. You want one? Yeah. Okay, just uh get give me give me two of them. Two of them. Yeah, one's for you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Was that just a scam? I thought she owned at the shop. Can you drink in the change or you want the change? Uh, I'll take the change, but I'm gonna get you're gonna get me one more. Uh? I got two of them all together. One of them was for you. One of them was for me. Yeah. I thought you were getting there something. Oh well, if she wants one, she can have one too. I just I just want the beer. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Nolan. Nola. Nolan. Nolan. Or you can call me Seal. Nolan. Yeah. What about the boys? Can we drink something? What? Can we drink something? <laughs> How about one sec? Maybe is there there's rum in there? How about when we come back from pigeon hunting? I'll I'm get it. You're not gonna be here. You're not gonna be here? Yeah. Oh man, I'd want to drink some rum with you. I was gonna get a thing of rum when we come back. Well, if you're still here, I'll get a thing of rum. Well, but no, but for no, now, no. I'm going to pigeon hunt. If you're still here, we'll get some rum. Right, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you.
I bought a beer for her, but she runs the darn shop. You got the chicken fillets or the pigeon fillets, huh? Yes, man. We have soup. You want some soup now to drink? Oh, yeah, I'll try for yeah, sure. Yeah, man. Is this like a marinade on there? Is that gut? Yes, man. <laughs> no, it's That's a marinade. Yeah, man. I know what to do, man. I just use a little pepper and ketchup and a little browning and support. Yeah. And just set him the right way. Because I'm a real chef. You understand? I understand. Yes, man. So it's gonna perfect. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So it look there? Yeah. Alright, no problem. Is that what you do professionally? Yes, man. I use my I jerk chicken to a, in, in my real pan. Mm, do you have a jerk chicken restaurant? Yeah, man. I jerk chicken to the roast. Soup. I just, uh, oh. Hey, no! Hey, hey, no! We're not getting We're not getting this! 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 We're not the pot is Ooh, here. Those look like there's a lot of spices in there. Yeah, man, nice. It's almost like a Nice good. bird and carrot and carrot. What do you call it? The vegetable, like the, the carrot and the Irish. A piece of breadfruit, and you have the hard yam in it. And some bird meat and some dumpling and so forth. Okay? Beautiful, so, man. So perfect. Excellent. Okay. How much is a small thing of rum in there? Just one of the small, uh... Everybody? Yeah, we're all good. Alright, 14. 14, 14 for, the, for the small ones? For the flask. Let's drink some rum. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, man, I'm an artist. You're an artist? Yeah, man. Can you, uh, like, rap? Yeah, man. Can, can you say rap for us right now? Put down a freestyle? Nothing making money, some man got a fit the trade at them. Some me tell us me don't touch it with me bread at them. Nothing making money, no way climb, me not be better than them. Now when that them, the whole of them matter, we see the way that them. This up my friend Seal. This is West Side, Nick Place. When you come to Jamaica, come here, up at the West. We short bread all day and eat. Big up, stand up. You, you can get me a flask? Yeah, okay. Chaser? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Whatever you recommend for chaser. Pardon me? Oh, you do the. This is the chaser, huh? Yeah, yeah. The the boom energy. Yeah. Boom. yeah. I haven't tried it yet. Never tried it. Yeah. I'm a fucking lighter, man. <laughs> the fucking shot right now. Why are you talking about it? Right? What's going on, man? So we'll get your chain, okay? What's that? So we'll get your chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, Where's my lighter, chain. dog? This was really weird. Like, I think the guy knew I was filming and maybe he just wanted to act all tough, but he came over here like, where's my lighter? I'm going to shoot someone like just over the top to me and his homies, which was just like super weird. I, I don't really know the motivation behind this. If he's like this all the time but i honestly think it was just because i was filming and um he just wanted to intimidate me but i just wanted to de-escalate the situation instead of like being confrontational i was like hey man if you want to drink too you can uh drink this is super weird but i remember watching some andrew tate video and he was describing how jamaica is like the most ghetto and dangerous place on earth and he was talking about how he went with a cab driver and he was like yo take me to a party and this cab driver brought him to the hood to a party in the hood and so apparently tate just went and he stood with his back against the wall frightened out of his mind and didn't do anything disclaimer i'm not an andrew tate fan i just thought this story was hilarious and that's the exact opposite thing that just shows your vulnerability i don't know why he talks like he's the top g when he's kind of selling himself out with this story that just shows your vulnerability if you're just gonna put your back against the wall and not include yourself into this party whereas me it's like i try to do the opposite if i'm in kind of a situation where i'm uncomfortable i can at least show these people that i'm a decent human being i would have just went up to him like hey guys like wagwan i'm nolan good to meet you are guys drinking and it's like oh i'll go get you a beer over there what are you guys drinking like instead of putting your back against the wall putting a target on your back just show you're a damn cool person and um i like to think that's what i did here but who knows big up the sea of thief mm -hmm. listen one so, oh yeah how do one we one do one this this is how you do it yeah. 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 One, one more 
Yeah. You, sh you show me. Yeah. So you do boom first? Yeah. No, man. Oh, you no, put no, the boom no. in there. Put it there. Put it there. Extra Jamaican drink, man. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna give me one, okay. Thank you, boys. Wait, you just sip it? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That was strong. <laughs> Jamaican cocktail. Yeah, man. Cheers, man. Respect. Respect. Cheers, man. Thank you, bro. Have you ever tried the rum with the bear? I'm trying it. Oh, with a beer? Yeah. With a red stripe? Yeah. I've never tried that in my life. What do you call that one? Steel bottom. Steel bottom. Yeah, that's yeah. steel bottom. Oh, that sounds rough. One shot of rum in what the beer. I don't, I don't mind the boom. The boom is nice. It's nice. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Hey, bro. Thank you, sir. And there's pigeon in this? Yeah, man, I think pigeon in this, man. Yeah, man, pigeon in it. All right, just, just my first try of pigeon. All right. Oh, the broth is so nice. My first taste of pigeon soup. <laughs> this is a nice piece of pigeon. <laughs> mm. Oh, I see. It's tougher. It's like, it's like beefy, I would say. It's like roast beef. It's all right. Not my favorite thing in the world, but. <laughs> the, soup, it, the soup is good, but now you have to go taste the, mm -hmm. the, the soup. Roast. The soup is excellent. The chicken, I think, or the, sorry, the chicken. The pigeon, I think I need to get used to. I highly recommend pigeon soup. You try the chicken first? Oh, really? No, you try it. Let me, <laughs> Let me try it. I always eat it. Actually, I'll try toe. Huh? Oh yeah, I have one in here too. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting to have a chicken foot in here. So you just like... <laughs> One thing me not like is I hate chicken food. <laughs> I hate chicken food, I hate it. I don't like the texture. You have to get a ball right on the ball of the foot. <laughs> There's not much meat on it. Hot, careful. You gotta like suck the meat off it. But at least like... At least they use every part of the chicken now. I gotta be respectful and eat the whole thing. Okay. So what you don't see on camera is that night was one of the worst nights of my life. So leading up to that night, I had actually been having really awful kidney pains. And that night was the absolute worst. Like I thought I was dying. Some of the worst pains I have ever had. Um, and I wasn't even going to go originally, but Craig is like, come, it will be a good video. And it did end up being a great video. In fact, my most viewed video, but it's demonetized. But the, the kidney pains, they got so bad and they weren't going away that I actually ended up leaving the island and made an appointment right away with my family doctor when I got home and got all that sorted. So unfortunately, my first trip to Jamaica had to end early, but... I think like every day I went out and filmed, <laughs> excuse me, but I think every day that I went out and filmed, even if I only made four videos, like it really felt like something special. It really felt like something I've never seen before. It was a culture shock and I honestly didn't expect these things out of Jamaica. Definitely one of the most interesting places I've been. I want to make a part two about my second trip to Jamaica like this video. And if you plan on going there, hit up my homie Craig. He will show you a grand old time. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.